students now i am going to explain about uh, acceleration due to gravity due to gravity of the earth acceleration due to gravity of the earth here so in this video we are going to discuss about acceleration due to gravity g on the surface g value on the surface and g above the earth surface above the earth surface and acceleration due to gravity g below the earth surface below the at the surface these are uh, these three things that we are going to discuss in this uh, topic uh, for this i am considering earth as a, a spherical shape let us consider the center of the earth is nothing but uh, this point center of the earth this earth is this earth is having infinite number of spherical shells like this each spherical shell is having some mass m each spherical shell is having some mass m okay so earth is nothing but it is the combination of large number of concentric uh, spherical shells this is center of the earth it is large number of concentric uh, spherical shells we can imagine like this okay so total mass of the earth is nothing but me and uh, radius of earth is nothing but re radius of earth is re i am taking a spherical shell which is at a distance of r from the center which is at a distance of r from the center this distance is nothing but r and mass up to the spherical shell is nothing but mr mass up to the spherical shell is nothing but mr this is center of the earth and see let a point a particle a point mass of m is kept at this location point mass m is kept at this location like this okay this point mass is kept inside the earth surface so we have discussed in previous uh, video that there is no amount of force exerted by this region on mass m particle of mass m as this mass m is kept inside this uh, dotted region okay the force is exerted only due to exerted by the spherical shells of this region the force is only exerted because of spherical shells of spherical shells of this region only okay because this mass is outside this uh, spherical shells the combination of spherical shells all the combinations of spherical shells this is kept as the outside just on the edge of this one okay so uh, here density we know that density is equal to mass by volume mass by volume okay so density remains same density of the earth remains same density remains constant always so mass of the spherical shell mass of the spherical shell with the radius with radius r is nothing but mr so mass is equal to mass equal to density into volume density into volume here let uh, density is nothing but rho volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube this is nothing but mr mass of the spherical shell 
with radius r is nothing but mr next i am going to write mass of the spherical shell mass of the spherical shell with radius r e with radius r e is nothing but m e mass of the earth equal to density of the earth remains constant density of the earth uh, remains constant into 4 by 3 pi radius cube that means r e cube we know density remains constant because uh, one drop of water one drop of water will have the same density as one liter of water one liter of water density is same density of one liter of water and density of one drop of water remains same that means uh, both are made up of aqua, aqua molecules only so density remains same in both situations so i am doing ratio of mr by me mr by me is equal to rho into 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by rho into 4 by 3 pi r e cube rho is nothing but density density remains constant we have discussed already rho and rho get cancels here 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi get cancels therefore mass of the spherical shell with radius r is equal to hmm, r cube divided by r e cube into mass when this multiplied to this type m e mass m e so this is an expression for mr okay this is an expression for mr now i am going to see here our picturization is like this i am drawing the shape again and this is nothing but uh, radius re and mass of total earth is nothing but me and this spherical shell with radius smaller and mass of this spherical shell is mr mass of this uh, spherical shell is nothing but mr and uh, if point mass is located at this distance point mass m is located at this distance now the force between the total mass of this spherical shell is supposed to be concentrated at center of the circle. Uh, center of the circle. Total mass is supposed to be concentrated at center of the circle like this. Okay, center of the circle. MR is concentrated like this. So, the force between attraction force. Attraction force between mr and m is given by attraction force between mr and m is given by force f equal to g m1 m1 is nothing but mr into m2 is nothing but m mass of the particle divided by r square g m1 m2 by r square here g mr is nothing but here mr equal to r cube by r e cube so g i have written a same m m divided by r square in the place of mr i am writing this value so r cube divided by r e cube into m e okay so here a net force is equal to g i am writing g uh, this r square and uh, r square cancels so we will get uh, g m into m e mass m is there i am writing and now m e i am writing it as m e g m m e divide, divided by r e cube into small r is there into r if point mass if point mass m Point mass m is on earth surface is on earth surface therefore small r is equal to radius of earth when it is uh, earth surface when point mass is shifted to earth surface 
r is equal to simply r e in that case so therefore in that case the net force is given by g m m e divided by r e q into r e i am substituting r e in the place of r so now this r e and one r e get cancelled so we will get g m into m e by r e square this is the net force on particle of mass m due to earth surface so now we know that from newton's second law of motion from newton's second law of motion force exerted by earth is nothing but weight of the particle weight is nothing but mg later uh, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 i am equating equations 1 and 2 from equations 1 and 2 from equations 1 and 2 mg is equal to g m m e by r e square so here here m and m get cancels we will get uh, g is equal to acceleration due to gravity g is equal to g m e by r e square acceleration due to gravity depends on g value depends on on mass and mass and radius of the planet mass and radius of the planet not on mass of the particle not on mass of the particle it only depends on mass and radius of the planet not on mass of the particle okay g value is equal to g capital g is nothing but universal gravitational constant here g value is nothing but 6.67 into 10 to the power of minus 11 newton meter square per kg square i have given this value already in uh, last class okay so acceleration due to gravity on surface of the earth is equal to g m e by r e square now acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity above the surface of earth above the earth surface acceleration due to gravity above the earth surface okay now i am taking earth surface like this and this is nothing but center of earth and i am taking i am keeping the particle just above the surface of earth which is outside the spherical shell so when the particle is outside the spherical shell total force net force acting on the particle is equal to as if total mass of the spherical shell supposed to be concentrated center of the earth so mass of the earth is supposed to be concentrated center of the mass and mass of the particle is m and distance from here to here is nothing but re radius of earth and distance above the surface of earth is nothing but h h above the surface so total distance so total distance r equal to r e plus h total distance r equal to r e plus h so now so now force attraction force attraction force by m e on small m is given by force f equal to g m1 m2 by r square here g m1 is nothing but mass of the earth is m e and m2 is nothing but mass of the particle m divided by distance between this mass and this mass is nothing but r r is nothing but r e plus h whole square okay we know that force is equal to m into g is equal to g m e m by 
R U plus H whole square R U plus H whole square. So here this M M get cancels. This is acceleration due to gravity H above the surface of Earth. So here, uh, here, here, uh, the leftover thing is G M E divided by. I am taking R E as common R E square into when R E is taken as common one plus remaining thing is H by R E whole square. This is the leftover thing. So acceleration due to gravity above the surface of Earth H is equal to G M E by R E square is there G M E by R E square. When this numerator uh, bring bringing to when this uh, denominator is bringing to numerator uh, it will become it will become 1 plus h by r e to the power of minus 2 it will become to the power of minus 2 from binomial expansion from binomial expansion principle 1 plus x to the power of n is equal to 1 plus n by 1 factorial into x plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial into x square plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 3 factorial into x cube and so on. I am neglecting higher order terms. Neglect these higher order terms. Neglect higher order terms. Okay, just I am considering only first two terms. So 1 plus x to the power of where here x is nothing but h by r e 1 plus uh, let uh, this h by r e is nothing but x and here n value is equal to minus 2. So 1 plus x to the power of minus 2 is nothing but 1 plus n value is nothing but minus 2 by 1 factorial x is x. Therefore, here 1 plus h by r e to the power of minus 2 can be written as 1 minus 2. 1 factorial is nothing but 1. 2 by 1 into x is nothing but what? x is equal to h by r e. h by r e. Therefore, 1 plus h by r e to the power of minus 2 is nothing but 1 minus 2 h by r e. 1 minus 2 h by r e. So, I am substituting back this value in this equation. Therefore, acceleration due to gravity h above the surface of earth equal to g m by r square is nothing but small g. See here, g m e by r, g m e by r e square is nothing but small g. So here I am writing this value as small g, g on the surface of earth into 1 plus h by r e to the power of minus 2 is nothing but 1 minus 2 h by r e. So 1 minus 2 h by r e. From here we can conclude that the value of g decreases by decreases by the factor of 1 minus 2 h by r e so when we go to the heights g value decreases g value decreases g value decreases as we go to Altitudes, altitudes, altitudes is nothing but height above the surface of earth. Okay, now, now I am going to discuss about uh, acceleration due to gravity below the surface of earth. Below the surface of earth, d depth, d depth below the surface of earth. So here I am taking a spherical shell again. Consider this is nothing but center of the sphere, center of the earth. 
and this is nothing but radius of earth and mass of earth is supposed to be concentrated at uh, center mass of earth is nothing but me uh, see i am drawing a spherical shell which is d depth below d depth below the surface d depth below the surface so see i am keeping a particle of mass m on the surface particle of mass m on this surface so distance from here to here is nothing but r and thus distance r is equal to r e minus d r is equal to r e minus d so this distance r equal to r e minus d this is r e minus d is nothing but uh, this distance r e minus d d is nothing but depth below the surface of earth so here so this region as the particle of mass m is at the surface as the particle of mass m is at this surface as the particle of mass m is at this surface so at the surface so the region that i am going to shade will have no contribution of force on mass m because this mass m is inside the spherical shell we have explained this condition in case to of previous mod previous lecture okay so there is no force due to this one i am taking the amount of force of this spherical shell is nothing but the amount of mass of this spherical shell is nothing but i am keeping it as ms or mr okay we know that mr or ms mr or ms is equal to me into r cube divided by r e cube we have gotten this uh, relation previously mr equal to me into r cube by r e cube okay so see here a force between force between mr and particle of mass m is given by given by f equal to g mr into m divided by divided by r square so here g mr is nothing but how much me into r cube divided by r e cube into what is left over this is nothing but see here i am writing again i am writing g as g small m as small m divided by r square as r square i am writing mr value as me into r cube divided by r e cube okay so see here uh, so here r square and uh, only one r is left there so f equal to g me g me is, is already over so what is there r e cube r e cube g me by r e cube into m into r just a small r is there so the force exerted can be written as force exerted by earth on the particle is given by mg is equal to g me i am writing g me by r e square g m by r e square into 1 by r e is left because r e cube is there in the denominator in the above equation so r e square into r e is nothing but r e cube g m e is there g m e is there r e cube i am writing r e cube as r e square into 1 by r e so into m into here small r is nothing but small r is equal to r e minus d this mass is at a distance of r e minus d okay so here this mass and mass get cancels and uh, so i'm writing g at d depth below is equal to g m by r e square is nothing but small g this is all is nothing but small g 
into 1 by Re into Re minus D. Re minus D. So, G at D depth below is equal to G into, I am multiplying this Re inside. So, Re by Re minus D by Re. Minus D by Re. So, Re, Re by Re is nothing but 1. G at D depth below is equal to G into 1 minus D by Re. So, acceleration due to gravity at D depth below is equal to G times 1 minus D by Re. That is, acceleration due to gravity decreases, again decreases by the factor of, by the factor of 1 minus D by Re. 1 minus D by Re. So, when we go to the depths, acceleration due to gravity decreases. When we go to the heights above the surface of earth, acceleration due to gravity decreases. At the center of earth, at the center of earth, center of earth, that is from surface of earth, how much uh, depth below? Depth below is equal to Re, D equal to Re. Therefore, G at uh, center of earth is equal to G into 1 minus, we know that D equal to Re, substitute in the place of D as Re by Re. So, Re by Re is nothing but 1. So, G at center of earth is equal to G into 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is nothing but 0. So, G at the acceleration due to gravity at center of earth is equal to how much? 0. So, final conclusion of this video is... Uh, Conclusion of this video is First conclusion is First conclusion Acceleration G sorry Acceleration due to gravity is nothing but simply I am going to write as G on surface of earth G on surface of earth G on surface of earth the formula is given by GME by RE square. GME by RE square. And second conclusion is G above the G value above the earth surface. G value above the earth surface is nothing but G H above the earth surface equal to G into 1 minus 2 H by Re. So, this is second conclusion. Okay. And now, the third conclusion is nothing but G value below the earth surface. G value below the earth surface. The formula that we have gotten is G into 1 minus D by Re. Okay. Where Re is nothing but radius of earth. D is nothing but D depth below the surface of earth. H is nothing but H height above the surface of earth. So, when particle is like this, H height above the surface of earth. This is for case 2. And for case 3, if this is like this, and if the particle is kept D depth below, D depth below, thus that is nothing but this case. Third case is this one. And for first case, for first case, the mass is exactly at the surface of earth. Small m is at the exactly surface of earth. This is the formula on the surface of earth. This is the formula on h above the surface of earth. And this is the formula for depth d below the surface of earth. In both of these cases, acceleration due to gravity decreases.